I'm swapping my 300 ZX. And what am I swapping with? Nothing other than the Ford Barra. Now the people in Australia already know what this is. This is their pride and true. This is the Australian 2J, all right? Phenomenal motor. Over there, they could probably get this motor for about 200 bucks. Over here, not so much, all right? I just wanna do a quick overview so you guys all understand what we're working with here, what it is, some of the specifications on it, a little bit of history on it. Um, it is now my favorite motor uh, since like two years ago and it finally showed up. So let's dig into it. And here we have it. We started this assembly with the headers and intake and the wiring harness because we're going to start ripping this bad boy apart. But like I said, people in Australia know what this is. They see it every day. All the cars, not all the cars, a lot of the cars have these, okay? This is the FG model, like I said, which is rear sump instead of front sump. But for the Americans, we have an inline six, four liter, the cast iron block, aluminum head. As dual independent VCT. And it's a big, big motor. From the front all the way, not to here, but to those is 32 inches. The height, I forget, but as you can see, it's a really, really tall motor. But it's pride and true. This has around 198,000 kilometers on it and was an automatic. In my eyes, with the other cars I have, this is a super low mile, healthy motor. Bear of the World sells that suits rebuild. But if I wanted to, as soon as it came in with all the intake and headers and whatnot, if I just plugged it up, this thing would have started right on. For this to make any power, it's super, super easy and super, super simple. We'll start from the top and work our way to the bottom. For the top, we need to get heavier lifter springs. We can get different retainers. Um, we don't have to, but we can get titanium retainers. We may do that. We may not. We'll see. Then going directly after that is ARP head studs. We do not want to lift the head. As soon as you start adding boosties NA motors, they like to lift a little bit, even on turbo ones, but mainly these little NAs, which as an NA, this made, I believe, 200 and 60 or 280 horsepower no it's all right 260 horsepower 280 torque these are torquey torquey motors they always match if not exceed the horsepower and torque and that's what likes to break stuff that's probably what's going to break a lot of stuff but we'll continue moving down at the front we're going to get an atomic timing uh kit we don't need that to make the power but it's more just peace of mind for me then down here, where the oil pump gear is, we're going to get a billet oil pump and a billet backing plate on there. And that's it. It's really, really easy. Um, fortunately, right now, the USD is still stronger than Australian dollars. So when I ring something up, it says like $1,200, but then I'm only paying like $850. So it's kind of nice. Uh, we do have to modify, besides cutting the oil pan to fit in the 300ZX, um, they all have the same oil pans, just on the NAs for the turbo return line. We do just need to drill this out and thread a hole for that line. But besides that, this is a Barra. Australian's 2J. It's in my garage in Colorado. I may be broke. I may have no time to work on this even when I want to. It's mostly going to be late night videos for me. But I have a Barra in the garage at home. And like I said before.